Hey my village, it's your coach Mo back with another topic. So this topic is going to be, you are not the boss of your child. We need to stop taking the approach that, oh, I'm the boss, whatever I say, go. That's not, that's not it. That don't work anymore. They used to work with the baby boomers, but look how they made us. It caused childhood trauma, even if you don't want to recognize it or not. But now we have issues with authority, with people telling us what to do because we had to sit back and shut the hell up when people tell us to do what I say. And we we not we not doing that anymore. We're gonna have a better approach in learning how to communicate with our kid, not treating them like they're one of our employees. They are a child. You are not their boss. I talk about this in my five easy ways to change your child behavior book. Are you leading? Are you directing your child? When you come to them in a directive approach, it's like they're your employees. You're not paying them to deal with you. They got to live with you. So you need to learn how to lead as a, be an example, be model who you want your child to be. Then you won't have any problems with them. If you do it right the first time and from the beginning and um, raise your kids properly, you won't have those problems. You won't have to yell at them. You won't have to threaten them. Uh, with that slave mentality uh, just to scare them into doing what you want them to do. They are not little terrorists. <laughs> Sometimes they act like it, but um, don't treat them like they're an employee, just bossing them around, telling them orders and stuff. If you tell your kid to clean up their room, show them how to do it. Now, if you already taught them how to do it and you showed them and they know what they're doing, then you give them consequences if they don't know, if they act like they don't know how to do it. I do this all the time, like when my nieces and nephews be like, hey, put your shoe on. I don't know how, I can't. And I'm like, I don't accept I can't because I done showed you, I don't know how many times how to put this shoe on. It ain't got no shoe strings, it's just straps. Put your foot in. Then I go with the, put your shoes on or we don't go anywhere. All of a sudden, you know how to put your shoes on. <laughs> But it's like one of those things where sometimes you just got to be patient with kids. Um, you tell them to wash the dishes. They don't wash them good. I do old school like my mom. If she found one dish that wasn't clean, all them dishes going back in the sink. They'll learn. You just take a different approach. You don't got to yell. You just say, come wash these dishes again. Since you didn't do them right the first time, your consequences is doing it all over again. Because it wasn't clean. You didn't give your best effort and you didn't clean it good. You were being rushing and lazy just so that you can get get to wherever you want it to be. But have patience with them. Stop bossing them around. Show them how to do it. You might have to do it more than once if it's a boy. <laughs> but just teach them how you treat them the way you want to be treated. Because they are little human beings. They are a um, representative of you. So please be kind to these little kids. They go through a lot. They done been through so many different things at such a young age. And we got to be gentle with them. Love them. Give them nourishment. Give them hugs. It don't matter if you're a male or a female. Parents, we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to love on these kids as much as possible. So until next time, Coach Mo out.